conundrum. Another blue thing I see. Who knows? There's something fishy going on in Cordova Creek. Nope. And Greg Krekus started noticing it periodically back in November. Just here, I can see cobblestone. Salmon, they're pretty common this time of year, especially in the American River, but not in Cordova Creek. That's because Cordova Creek isn't a creek, it's a drainage ditch. Uh, after the storm events, the volume of water greatly decreases. You don't have to be a biologist to know that salmon need a constant flow of water, and the salmon that made the mistake of swimming up Cordova Creek are finding that out the hard way. All right, so uh, here's the problem right here. You see when that water flow stops coming in, the water drops and it creates barriers and this is where the salmon pretty much die. More evidence of the dead salmon can be found lying all over Cordova Creek. And take a look at these turkey vultures. It's a salmon buffet out here. Okay, before you get sick to your stomach, you have to understand why the salmon are all of a sudden attracted to Cordova Creek. It used to be a drainage channel. It was denuded and sterile and concrete lined. This is Lily Allen with the Sacramento Water Forum. In 2015, her organization helped turn Cordova Creek from this into this. And it attracted a bunch of beneficial wildlife, including salmon. As a design group, we thought about this and we couldn't decide whether to encourage them or discourage them. So we decided to kind of leave it alone and let nature take its course. Right now, nature is taking its course. The reality is, some salmon just naturally get confused. And the fact that salmon got confused by Cordova Creek is a good thing. It's, it's, a, it's a good testament to the quality of the restoration that was done. In Cordova Creek along the American River, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.